His fever has gone down. I'm surprised it only took him one day to recover. It took three when he forged the pact with me. He's definitely got natural ability as a shepherd. Miklio. Oh, thanks for helping with the letters, by the way. I caught up with everyone I needed to. It's okay. I rather enjoy writing letters. <sighs> Are you awake? I... I must have fainted again. Sorry. You gave me quite a backache. <laughs> you looked like you were floating. I told the innkeeper you were just doing some sort of magic trick. <laughs> well, I never was any good at lying anyways. Don't overexert yourself. You still need to rest. I'll be fine. We gotta find the Lord of the Land, and someone to pray at the Sanctuary before the ice melts. Uh, but... The Shepherd has spoken. Is it not the duty of the Prime Lord, Sublord, and Squire to follow him? can be strenuous at times, but overall, I'm enjoying it. Oh, right. You spent all those years living in the Sacred Blade. This must be your first time out and about in a long while. Indeed. And is this your first long journey? Yeah, for both me and Saray. It's a relief to have companions on the road. I'm looking forward to working with you as the Sublord. My pleasure. Dependable comrades are to be cherished. I'm glad that you two joined up with us, especially Alicia. Saray's always been a lone human among Seraphim. It's a blessing to have her around. He seems like he was brought up with a lot of love, regardless of his surroundings. I won't deny that. But I also have no doubt that there are things only humans can understand, that only humans can see. And he missed out on all of that. Miklio. Uh, please don't tell Saray I said anything. Of course. It will remain a secret between the Prime and Sublord. That's...
Saray, look around. Preparing the gel. O great Seraphim, whose blessings yet dwell in this land, turn thine ears to our prayers. Thank you so much, Father Brunor. Thanks to you, my son's legs have healed considerably. No need to thank me. It is your diligent prayer that has made the difference. Be steadfast and pure in mind and spirit, as you continue to pray for the health of your son. Hmm? A contribution to the sanctuary. I told you before, madam. I'm afraid I can't possibly... Please accept it. There's something I've realized. Merely praying for help is an offense to the Seraphim. It is a selfish act for personal gain. Who told you such a thing? Well, no one in particular. You'll need money to pay for your son's treatment, won't you? Use this towards that end instead, for the sake of your son. My son feels the same as I do. Everyone says the same thing. His wounds were punishment for his selfish prayers. <sighs> and there are even those who spread vicious rumors about myself and you, Father Brunor. Please, I beg of you, accept this so that we might be saved. Uh, very well. I shall humbly accept your gift as a token of you and your son's gratitude. Oh, thank you so much. Now, perhaps, these rumors will finally come to an end. May you receive the blessing of the Seraphim, Father. Right, the blessing. Guess I'll buy a drink. Princess! I'm here to ask a favor. Of me? What could I... We would like to ask you to enshrine and look after a new seraph in our town's sanctuary. This is a request from the Shepherd. The Shepherd? You mean this boy is the... <laughs> Forgive me. You are not to be blamed. It is the fault of the royal family that so many have strayed from the noble path. Excuse me, if I may? It's nice to meet you. My name's Saray. Huh? I'd like you to be the one to worship at the Sanctuary for the protection of Lady Lake. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused by pulling the Sacred Blade so carelessly. I know I'm still a fledgling Shepherd who hasn't gotten used to things yet, but I promise I will do my best. Yes, yes, of course. It's quite all right. Please, do not prostrate yourself so. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> this request comes from me as well. Please. Help me so that I in turn may help this inexperienced but pure of heart shepherd. Of course. I am honored that I may possibly be of service to one such as yourselves. Though I am frail of body, I shall perform the task at hand with the entirety of my spirit. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. My foot's asleep. Seriously? <laughs> Well then, Father Brunor, when you're ready, I will come visit you again. As you wish. Do be careful. Well, that's one way to ask a favor, I guess. It was very Saray. Yes, I think this helped the priest as well.
Might be something nearby. Investigating the collapse of Grifflet Bridge, the cause may be flooding from the rain. It wasn't caused by rain. The current is odd considering the water level. I have a bad feeling about this. You should evacuate. Finally, someone who's talking some sense. Who are you? All right. Do as Saray suggests. Saray? You can't possibly mean the Shepherd. If he is, maybe he can stop the floods. You really think there's anything that can stop the Water Spirit's rampage? Water Spirit? It's terrible. Destroy the bridge in an instant. It's some sort of... monster. Silence! Enough with your nonsense! R 
What? The water spirit! Run! That's an order. Hurry! Does this thing really look like a person to them? An Ouroboros? Why is it in a place like this? To ordinary people, it probably looks like a huge water spout. It looks pretty strong. Careful of this rising coin attack. It spins and plunges into you. Just exhaust yourself, Saray. All things in moderation, as they say. What? The Hellion turned into a Seraph? It's the other way around. Hellions that are strong enough to manifest themselves are those that were once Seraphim. A Seraph can become a Hellion? And Seraphim that have completely turned into Hellions are known as... Dragons. Dragons? Those really exist? So, then the legends were true. Uh, uh. So the wrecking of the bridge was all, all my fault. I'm so ashamed. If you hadn't been here to purify me, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I'm really glad that we were able to save you. Um... I am Uno, young shepherd. Saray. Uno, in exchange for saving you, we would like to ask you a favor. Would you be willing to listen? Hmm? I would ask you to bless Lady Lake. But as things currently stand in that town... Lady Alicia, are you all right? I'm fine. The water spout has disappeared. See, I told you she'd be fine. Nothing can hurt our princess when she's got the shepherd at her side. Weren't you the one shaking at his boots earlier? Still, the rain has suddenly stopped, and the currents have come significantly. This, too, must be the power of the shepherd. I always thought it was just a fairy tale. To think I'd see the friggin' Shepherd with my own eyes. Hey! Watch your language in front of the Shepherd. It looked to me like, like the Shepherd just cut right through the water spout. I doubt anyone will believe me, though. Who cares? I'd rather believe in the miracles of the Shepherd. Friggin' water spirit can kiss my hairy butt! Hey! What happened to watching your language? So there are still people here who believe. Well, you did help me get back to my old self. Then can you help? 
I shall become the lord of the land for the domain of Lady Lake. Ah, thank you, Uno. And you must be the Prime Lord? You've picked a fine shepherd. I agree. Let's go. Father Brunor is waiting for us. Oh, truly, this power is the stuff of miracles. Hmm, looks like he really can't sense us at all. I shall worship this sacred water with all my being. Oh, venerable Uno, I am yet inexperienced, but would that I could serve thee for all eternity. Heh, <laughs> but he is earnest. I'll at least give him that. What was that? I feel like a sort of wind just blew right through me. The blessing has returned to this town. This town is now under my domain. But in order to maintain the blessing, I will need cooperation from the people. Indeed, there are all kinds of methods besides prayer that one can use to uphold the blessing. Like? For example... I see. I'll be sure to give it a try. This sure sounds like a pain to me. I will do what little I can. Hmm? What's wrong? I can still feel a powerful malevolence. And it's not far off. It's somewhere in town. That's the Royal Palace. So this is a conversation with the Seraphim? A bunch of lunatics talking to themselves out loud? You are? Ah! 
I am a messenger from Chancellor Bartlow of the Highland Government. I have come to invite Sir Ray to a private dinner conference in light of his great suffering for the sake of Lady Lake. Have you been watching over Sir Ray? Not at all. In fact, I was quite surprised. That the Princess of Highland, as distant as her claim to the throne may be, would have relations with the Shepherd that are so... intimate. I'm sure this news will please your beloved subjects to no end, Your Highness. If you are insinuating that... Alicia! Where to? Roundable Palace. Very well. Tell Bartlow I accept his proposal. Please, you mustn't get involved with the Chancellors. I can feel it from them. The malevolence does seem to be coming from them. I apologize for being so weak. Don't worry, it's true. We really do want to see what's going on at the palace. It'll be our first time. You'll have to be our guide. Just as you have been to me. It seems there's a treasure chest near us.